Anyone spoke to my wife, or my daughter, or my mother, or any of my five sisters, the way Mr. Trump has spoken to women, I wouldn't hire that person. I wouldn't hire that person, wouldn't want to be associated with that person. And I certainly don't think I'd feel comfortable hiring that person to be the leader of the free world. Binnen de Republikeinse Partij ontstaat vandaag grote onrust over hun leider Donald Trump. Deze beelden van de blauwe touringcar zijn inmiddels wereldwijd bekend. In de bus slaat Trump schunnige taal uit, niet wetende dat dit wordt opgenomen. De opnames van 2005, Trump schept op tegen een journalist. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. I've got to use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. De opzienbarende videotape werd geopenbaard door de Washington Post. De verslaggever die die primeur had, spreekt erover met CNN. When you contacted Trump or the Trump campaign for comment and shared with them, revealed to them what you now had, were they blindsided by it or did you get the impression that they knew this or something like this was coming? Well, what I originally did was send them a transcript. I didn't send them the whole video. We had transcribed sort of the relevant portion of the video, the one you just played, and sent them a transcript. And they at first said, well, that doesn't sound like Mr. Trump. And they wanted to see the video. So we sent them the video, uh, and they watched it. And pretty quickly afterward, they sent us a statement basically conceding that, in fact, it was him, and with Trump saying it was locker room talk. Als Donald Trump ziet en hoort wat er uitgezonden is, reageert hij snel. Er verschijnt op zijn Facebookpagina een verklaring van hem met uitleg. I said it. I was wrong and I apologize. I've traveled the country talking about change for America, but my travels have also changed me. I've spent time with grieving mothers who've lost their children, laid off workers whose jobs have gone to other countries, and people from all walks of life who just want a better future. I have gotten to know the great people of our country, and I've been humbled by the faith they placed in me. I pledge to be a better man tomorrow, and will never, ever let you down. Let's be honest, we're living in the real world. This is nothing more than a distraction from the important issues we're facing today. Well, with all due respect, sir, you, sir, are the distraction. Your conduct, sir, is the distraction. It's the distraction from the very principles that will help us win in November. You yourself, sir, Mr. Trump, have stated repeatedly that the goal, the objective, has got to be to defeat Hillary Clinton in November. I couldn't agree more. It's per for precisely that reason, Mr. Trump, that I respectfully ask you, with all due respect, to step aside. En over ruim 24 uur is het verkiezingsdebat tussen Trump en Clinton. De voorbereidingen in St. Louis zijn in volle gang. Trump neemt alvast een voorschot. Hillary Clinton and her kind have run our country into the ground. I've said some foolish things, but there's a big difference between the words and actions of other people. Bill Clinton has actually abused women, and Hillary has bullied, attacked, shamed, and intimidated his victims. We will discuss this more in the coming days. See you at the debate on Sunday.